25 Historical Lies You Still Believe. The truth will shock you. Hello and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and history. Today, we are going to debunk some of the most common historical misconceptions that you might have learned in school or from popular culture. Are you ready to rewrite history? Let's get started. 1. Marie Antoinette's Cake one of the most famous quotes attributed to the French Queen Marie Antoinette is, let them eat cake, which she supposedly said when she heard that the peasants had no bread. However, there is no evidence that she ever uttered these words, and they were actually written by the philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau in his autobiography, before she even became queen. Moreover, the original phrase was, let them eat brioche, which is a type of bread enriched with butter and eggs, not a cake. 2. Catherine the Great and the Horse Lover the Russian Empress Catherine the Great was one of the most powerful and enlightened rulers of her time, but she also had a reputation for being a nymphomaniac who had affairs with many men, including a horse. This rumor was probably spread by her enemies, who wanted to tarnish her image and undermine her authority. There is no proof that she ever had sex with a horse, and she died of a stroke, not from being crushed by one. 3. Jean-Jacques Rousseau's Words Another famous quote that is often misattributed to Jean-Jacques Rousseau is, man is born free, and everywhere he is in chains. This is actually the opening line of his book The Social Contract, which he wrote as a political treatise, not as a personal statement. Rousseau himself was not a champion of freedom and democracy, but rather a supporter of authoritarian and paternalistic government. He also abandoned his five children to an orphanage, which contradicts his ideal of natural goodness. Four ninjas and their popular attire. Ninjas were covert agents and assassins in feudal Japan, who specialized in espionage, sabotage, infiltration, and guerrilla warfare. They are often depicted in movies and comics wearing black suits and masks, with various weapons and gadgets. However, this is a modern invention, and not historically accurate. Ninjas did not wear black, but rather blended in with their surroundings, wearing ordinary clothes or disguises. They also did not use flashy weapons, but rather simple and practical tools, such as daggers, ropes, and shuriken. 5. John Brown's Mental Health John Brown was an American abolitionist who led a raid on the Federal Armory at Harper's Ferry, Virginia, in 1859, hoping to spark a slave rebellion. He was captured, tried, and hanged for treason, murder, and inciting insurrection. He is widely regarded as a martyr and a hero by many, but also as a fanatic and a terrorist by others. Some have suggested that he was mentally ill, suffering from bipolar disorder or psychosis. However, there is no conclusive evidence to support this claim, and his actions and words were consistent with his religious and political beliefs. 6. Benjamin Franklin and the Turkey Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of the United States, and a polymath who excelled in science, diplomacy, and literature. He is also credited with proposing the turkey as the national bird of America, instead of the bald eagle, which he considered a bird of bad moral character. However, this is a myth, based on a letter he wrote to his daughter, in which he criticized the design of the Great Seal of the United States, which featured an eagle. He did not suggest the turkey as an alternative, but rather praised its courage and intelligence. 7. Hitler's Troops and the Russian Winter Adolf Hitler was the dictator of Nazi Germany, who initiated World War II and orchestrated the Holocaust. He invaded the Soviet Union in 1941, with the largest and most powerful army in history, but failed to conquer it, and suffered a devastating defeat. One of the main reasons for his failure is often attributed to the harsh Russian winter, which froze and starved his troops. However, this is an oversimplification, and ignores the other factors that contributed to his defeat, such as the resistance and resilience of the Soviet people, the strategic and tactical blunders of the Nazi command, and the superior and innovative warfare of the Red Army. 8. Sir Walter Raleigh's Cloak Sir Walter Raleigh was an English explorer, soldier, and courtier, who was famous for his expeditions to the Americas, and for introducing tobacco and potatoes to England. He is also known for his alleged gesture of laying his cloak over a puddle for Queen Elizabeth I to walk on. However, this story is probably a legend, and not based on any historical evidence. It first appeared in a biography of Raleigh written by Thomas Fuller in 1662, more than 60 years after Raleigh's death, and was likely embellished to portray him as a gallant and loyal servant of the Queen. 9. American Indian's Lifestyle 
American Indians, or Native Americans, are the indigenous peoples of the Americas, who have a rich and diverse history and culture. They are often stereotyped as living in tipis, hunting buffalo, and wearing featherhead dresses. However, this is a gross generalization, and ignores the fact that there were hundreds of different tribes and nations, each with their own customs, languages, and traditions. They lived in various types of dwellings, such as longhouses, wigwams, pueblos, and igloos, and practiced various types of agriculture, trade, and warfare. 1. -0. Who built the Egyptian pyramids? The Egyptian pyramids are ancient monumental structures, built as tombs for the pharaohs and their consorts. They are among the oldest and largest man-made structures in the world, and are considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. They are often associated with slavery, and the popular belief is that they were built by thousands of oppressed and exploited workers, who were forced to labor under harsh conditions. However, this is a misconception, and recent archaeological evidence suggests that they were built by skilled and paid workers, who were well-fed and cared for, and who took pride in their work. 1. 1. Middle Ages Life Expectancy The Middle Ages, or the Medieval Period, spanned from the 5th to the 15th century, and marked a transition from the ancient to the modern world. They are often portrayed as a dark and dismal time, characterized by ignorance, superstition, and violence. One of the indicators of this is the low life expectancy, which is commonly assumed to be around 30 years. However, this is a misleading statistic, and does not mean that most people died before reaching 30. It is an average that is skewed by the high infant and child mortality, which was common at the time. If one survived childhood, one could expect to live into their 60s or 70s, which is not much different from today. 1. 2. Medieval Folks and Their Chastity Belts Chastity belts are devices that are designed to prevent sexual intercourse or masturbation, by locking the genitals of the wearer. They are often associated with the Middle Ages, and the popular belief is that they were used by men to ensure the fidelity of their wives or daughters, especially when they were away on crusades or wars. However, this is a myth, and there is no evidence that chastity belts were ever used in the Middle Ages. They are a product of the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, when they were invented as jokes, satires, or fictions, to mock the perceived prudery and hypocrisy of the medieval morality. 1. 3. Paul Revere Paul Revere was an American patriot, silversmith, and engraver, who is best known for his role in the American Revolution. He is famous for his Midnight Ride, in which he rode from Boston to Lexington, warning the colonists that the British were coming. However, this is a simplified and exaggerated version of what actually happened. Revere was not the only rider, but one of many, who were part of a network of spies and messengers. He did not shout, the British are coming, but rather used a more discreet code, such as, the regulars are out. He also did not reach his destination, but was captured by a British patrol, and had to escape. 14. George Washington's Cherry Tree George Washington was the first president of the United States, and one of the founding fathers. He is revered as a symbol of honesty, integrity, and leadership. One of the stories that illustrates his character is the cherry tree incident, in which he confessed to his father that he had chopped down a cherry tree, saying, I cannot tell a lie. However, this story is a fabrication, and not based on any historical fact. It was invented by a biographer named Mason Weems, who wanted to create a moral example for children, and who also made up other anecdotes about Washington's childhood. 1. 5. Lady Godiva's Infamous Horse Ride Lady Godiva was an Anglo-Saxon noblewoman, who lived in the 11th century. She is famous for her legendary ride, in which she rode naked through the streets of Coventry, to protest against the oppressive taxes imposed by her husband, the Earl of Mercia. The only person who saw her was a tailor named Tom, who peeped through a window, and was struck blind, giving rise to the term, Peeping Tom. However, this story is a myth, and not based on any historical evidence. It was probably a later addition to the original legend, which was about her generosity and piety, and which did not mention her nudity or the peeping Tom. 1. 6. Abner Doubleday and Baseball Abner Doubleday was a United States Army officer and Union general, who fought in the Civil War and the American Civil War. He is also credited with inventing the game of baseball, which is considered the national pastime of America. However, this is a myth, and not based on any historical evidence. It was a result of a commission appointed by the sporting goods magnate Albert Spaulding, who wanted to prove that baseball was an American invention, and not derived from the British game of cricket. 
The commission relied on a dubious testimony of a mining engineer named Abner Graves, who claimed that he witnessed Doubleday inventing baseball in Cooperstown, New York, in 1839. However, there is no proof that Doubleday was ever in Cooperstown or that he had any interest in baseball. 1-7. Salem Witch Trials The Salem Witch Trials were a series of hearings and prosecutions of people accused of witchcraft in colonial Massachusetts, between 1692 and 1693. They resulted in the execution of 20 people, 14 of them women, and the imprisonment of hundreds more. They are often portrayed as a case of mass hysteria, fueled by religious fanaticism, superstition, and paranoia. However, this is a simplification, and ignores the other factors that contributed to the witch hunt, such as social, economic, and political tensions, personal rivalries and vendettas, and the influence of the British Crown and the Native American Wars. 18. Benjamin Franklin's Kite Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of the United States, and a polymath who excelled in science, diplomacy, and literature. He is famous for his experiment with a kite and a key, in which he proved that lightning was a form of electricity, and invented the lightning rod. However, this is a dramatization, and not exactly what happened. Franklin did not fly the kite himself, but rather sent his son to do it, while he stayed in a nearby shelter. He also did not use a metal key, but a silk ribbon with a metal wire. He did not receive a shock from the kite, but rather observed sparks from the wire. He also did not invent the lightning rod, but rather improved on an existing design. 1-9. The Great Chicago Fire and the Culprit Cow The Great Chicago Fire was a conflagration that burned from October 8 to October 10, 1871, destroying thousands of buildings, killing hundreds of people, and leaving more than 100,000 homeless. It is one of the most devastating urban fires in history, and its cause is still unknown. One of the most popular theories is that it was started by a cow belonging to a woman named Catherine O'Leary, who kicked over a lantern in her barn. However, this is a myth, and not based on any factual evidence. It was probably a fabrication by a journalist named Michael Ahern, who admitted decades later that he made up the story to sell more newspapers. 2-0. Napoleon Bonaparte's Height Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military and political leader, who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest commanders in history, and a master of strategy and tactics. He is also known for being short, and having a complex about his height, which is often used to explain his ambition and aggression. However, this is a misconception, and not based on reality. Napoleon was not short, but rather average for his time, standing at about 5 feet 7 inches, 1.7 meters. The confusion arises from the difference between the French and the British measurement systems, and the propaganda of his enemies, who wanted to mock and belittle him. 2-1. Emperor Nero and the Fiddle Emperor Nero was the fifth and last emperor of the Julio-Claudian dynasty, who ruled the Roman Empire from 54 to 68 AD. He is infamous for his tyranny, extravagance, and cruelty, and is blamed for many crimes and disasters, such as the persecution of Christians, the murder of his mother and wife, and the Great Fire of Rome. He is also said to have played the fiddle, or the lyre, while Rome burned, showing his indifference and insanity. However, this is a legend, and not based on any historical evidence. Nero was not in Rome when the fire broke out, but in his villa in Antium, and he returned to the city to organize relief efforts. He also did not play the fiddle, or the lyre, but rather sang and recited poetry, which was his passion and hobby. 2-2. Columbus and the Spherical Globe Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer, navigator, and colonizer, who was credited with discovering the Americas in 1492, under the auspices of the Spanish crown. He is often portrayed as a visionary and a pioneer, who challenged the prevailing belief that the Earth was flat, and proved that it was round, by sailing across the Atlantic Ocean. However, this is a myth, and not based on any historical fact. Columbus did not discover the Americas, but rather encountered them, as they were already inhabited by millions of indigenous peoples, who had their own cultures and civilizations. He also did not prove that the Earth was round, but rather assumed it, as it was already a well-known and accepted fact among educated people since ancient times. 23. Galileo Galilei and Heliocentrism Galileo Galilei was an Italian astronomer, physicist, and mathematician, who was considered the father of modern science. 
He is famous for his observations and discoveries, such as the phases of Venus, the moons of Jupiter, and the rings of Saturn, which he made with his improved telescope. He is also known for his support of the heliocentric theory, which states that the Earth and the other planets revolve around the Sun, and not the other way around, as the geocentric theory claimed. He is often depicted as a martyr of science, who was persecuted and condemned by the Catholic Church, for defending the truth against the dogma. However, this is a simplification, and not the whole story. Galileo was not the first to propose the heliocentric theory, but rather followed the footsteps of Copernicus, who published his work in 1543. He was also not the only one to support it, but rather had many allies and admirers, including some within the church. He was not persecuted and condemned for his scientific views, but rather for his theological and political opinions, which he expressed in a sarcastic and provocative manner, offending the Pope and the Inquisition. 2-4. Vikings and their famed horned helmets. Vikings were the seafaring warriors and traders of the Norse culture, who originated from Scandinavia, and who raided, explored, and settled in various parts of Europe and beyond, from the 8th to the 11th century. They are renowned for their bravery, skill, and ferocity, and are often depicted wearing horned helmets, which are supposed to symbolize their strength and fierceness. However, this is a misconception, and not based on any archaeological or historical evidence. Vikings did not wear horned helmets, but rather simple and practical helmets, made of iron or leather, which protected their heads from blows and cuts. The image of the horned helmet is a modern invention, which can be traced back to the 19th century, when artists and writers romanticized and embellished the Viking culture, influenced by the opera and the folklore. 2-5. Alexander the Great and His Mighty Empire Alexander the Great was a king of Macedonia and one of the most successful military leaders of all time. He conquered most of the known world, from Greece to India, creating a vast and diverse empire, which spanned over three continents and 20 million square kilometers. He is admired for his courage, charisma, and genius, and is regarded as a model of leadership and strategy. However, this is a glorification, and not the whole truth. Alexander was not so great, but rather ruthless, reckless, and megalomaniacal. He killed thousands of people, destroyed many cities and cultures, and exploited his subjects and soldiers. He also did not create a lasting empire, but rather a fragile and unstable one, which collapsed soon after his death, and was divided among his generals and successors. We hope you enjoyed this video, and learned something new and surprising about history. Remember, history is not always what it seems, and sometimes we need to question the sources and the motives behind the stories we are told. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and comments below. What are some other historical misconceptions that you know of? Let us know, and we might feature them in our next video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on Science Telly.